an overview for our new plugin, the CDM Upload Form Shortcode. Um, this new add-on allows you to add a shortcode to your website to accept uh, front-end uploads without having to log in. Um, when you upload a file, um, you get a, a name and an email instead of a user and it associates this file with that email address so you can still keep track of it. Um, it's not going to be associated with a user anymore um, unless you're logged in. If you're logged in, um, it's going to automatically associate the, the file with the user. Um, there are a bunch of different variables. Um, you can uh, create a uh, folder dropdown, a category dropdown. Um, we have reCAPTCHA settings. Um, these are the different variables we have here. Um, you can either set it to display a message after upload or redirect to a page. Um, you can um, set a uh, folder ID. So if you set this to zero, um, it's going to display all folders. If you set it to a project, a folder ID, it's going to um, it's going to not show this drop down and uh, all uploads will upload directly to that folder. Or you can comma, comma separate a bunch of folders and um, it'll build a drop down just for those folders. So it's a nice easy way to um, get files from guest users and um, upload them to specific folders that you want in your file manager. Uh, you can also set the uh, limit of files, uh, the file size, uh, what kind of file types you want to accept, um, if you want to show notes or extra fields. Um, and uh, I'll just go over on how to do that right now. So if you want to create an upload form, um, you're going to build out a short code like this. Um, edit a page and add the short code and uh, change the variables as needed. So here we're going to display a message after upload. We're going to show the categories drop down. Um, since we have nothing set on the folder, we're just going to show a drop down of all the folders. Um, but say we want to set that to folder ID 1, we can do that. Actually, let's get an actual folder here. So we want to upload everything to an external folder, and that's uh, ID number 36. So we'll go in here, change that to 36. Um, we're not going to have any limit on files. And we're going to have a message, and we'll just do the default file types. Update that. Now let's go to view our page. And you can see our uh, upload form here. Um, uh, we, we have our category set here and then uh, let's add some files. And this is not going to let you upload without clicking this reCAPTCHA. Um, I would highly recommend putting this on your website. Um, if you don't set reCAPTCHA, it's not going to show it. But if you put your keys in, um, this will uh, stop this form from spamming. So you don't want to get a bunch of spam entries. Um, so click that. And it's saying we can upload now. So we click Start Upload. Uploading our files. Thank you for your upload. So now let's go look at our um, file area. And it's in the external folder. And you can see our files here. Um, since I was logged in, it's associating this file with my user ID. Now, if we uploaded that as a guest user, uh, it's going to display the guest email. So just to display this guest upload here.
And because I've used this a lot today, it's actually just requiring me to um, verify. So, uploaded. So let's refresh this folder. And you can see this is uploaded by guest and uh, the email address is right there. And um, every time you, you um, send updates, it's always going to uh, email this person as well, just like they're a user, even though they're not part of the system. So you can use this form um, as, as many times as you want throughout your website, different configurations. If you want a different form for different folders, you can do that. You can, you can build a, a drop down to select different folders. Um, so if you have any questions, let us know. Contact us. Open up a chat. And thank you.